Dear Grade 9 Me. Dear Grade 9 Me. Dear Grade 9 Me. Welcome to high school. Welcome to high school. Don't worry, you look fine. Guys, <laughs> you look okay too. If you're watching this, then you're in the right spot. It's alright. Take a breath. Relax. Dear Grade 9 Me. That boy you'll meet next summer, please avoid him. When your friend finally gets their license, you can eat at McDonald's every day. Please, don't eat McDonald's every day. Dear Grade 9 Me, this is what it's all about. It's called graduation. 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 It's only four years away. I know that seems like a long way off. Like it will never happen, but trust me. Trust me. This whole thing goes by faster than you think. Way faster. Way faster. Don't believe me? Just wait. I'll tell you that graduation is important because it'll open up doors for you in the future. It's not going to be easy. Nothing worthwhile ever is. But you already knew that, didn't you? You're doing okay. You stuck with it and never gave up. You should be proud of yourself. You're a unique, self-confident person. You're figuring out who you are. Not that you didn't make any mistakes. Oh, you'll make some mistakes and go through some struggles. Dear Grade 9 Me, high school can be tough. But it can also be great. <laughs> there are some things that I want you to know. Don't procrastinate. You know you can do better than that. It's not like the project's just gonna go away. Homework isn't that hard. Just do it. Just do it. Try out for that team. Join that group. Don't worry so much what your friends think. They're joining you next year. Trust me, you want to pass math and you want to pass English. You don't want to be taking grade 11 and 12 English in the same year. You may not graduate with your friends. You should probably just try to pass all of your classes. There is a right side of the hallway, so use it. Some days, your headphones will be your best friend. I want you to know the friend you met in French class on that first day, she's going to become your best friend until she moves. You'll fight. A few times, you'll think your friendship is over. But you'll always be there for each other. In grade 11, you'll get your heart broken into a million pieces. You will feel worthless and like nobody cares about you. But they do. You've never been alone. Look around you. People actually do care. There will be plenty of time for partying. But sometimes you just shouldn't go. It's not worth losing your really good friends to gain really shady ones. In grade 10, you'll be on your way to class, and you'll notice somebody getting bullied. Please, do something to stop them. A few weeks later, it'll happen to you, and nobody will stop. Stand up to a bully. Your silence never helps a victim. Pay no attention to that girl who called you those names. You'll graduate and move on. And she won't. You'll get into your first fight in grade 11. You'll both get in trouble with the office, even though it was their fault. Those nights, when it gets really crazy at home, don't give up. Push through. There will be more good days than bad ones. I want you to know that things get better. You can always talk to a guidance counselor. You can talk to me. Get involved. Get involved. I agree. Get involved. Just because your friends aren't in that club that you really want to join, doesn't mean that you shouldn't. Getting involved will help you find out what you're good at. Or not so good at. Which is fine. It really helps later when you're filling out applications for jobs or schools that you want to apply for. I agree. Get involved. Just not in the drama. The less you're involved in that, the better. Don't be overly concerned of how you look. Don't give in to peer pressure. It never ends well. Really? Do you think you're going to marry your grade 9 boyfriend? Dear grade 9 me, one day you will understand what 3x cubed plus 2x minus 4 using the chain rule really means. Every single bit of drama that you go through will be all worth it in the end. You stuck to it and you never gave up on your dreams of going to that school. And guess what? You got accepted. I want you to know that you're going to have one bad year and go crazy. And get your tongue pierced. And lose some friends. But you'll get them all back. Don't worry. You're not a freak if you're not dating someone. So don't feel like it's a requirement to be accepted. It's not. Being yourself is. Dear Grey and I me, above all, just have fun. Dear Grey and I me, as exciting as it is to be leaving high school, truthfully, you'll miss it when you leave. You have tons of potential. You want to look back at high school and have no regrets. Don't be in a rush to graduate. You'll be here faster than you think. Don't beat yourself up too much. Just make the best of each day and you're going to be fine. Thank you.